Good evening, boys and girls. Tonight's lesson is lesson 10.3, parallel lines and perpendicular lines. Our essential question is, how can you identify and draw parallel lines and perpendicular lines? Please write this down in your notes. How can you identify and draw parallel lines and perpendicular lines? You can find models of lines in the world around you. For example, two streets that cross each other model intersecting lines. Metal rails on a train track that never cross model parallel lines. Now I'm going to teach you a few vocabulary words. The first word we're going to talk about is called intersecting lines. Intersecting lines are lines in a plane that cross at exactly one point. Intersecting lines form four angles. For example, let's look at this example. We have line HI and line JK. Notice how they cross at exactly the point X. And also notice how they're forming four angles. I can see an obtuse angle here and here, as well as an acute angle here and here. Therefore, this is an example of intersecting lines. We would read it like this, line HI intersects with line JK at point X. And you would write it just like you see down here. You would write line HI. This symbol right above the HI is a line that looks like this, and you put two little arrows on the end, and that just signifies the word line. Then we have line JK. Notice how it's written with that little line with the little arrows on each end similar to this and we would say HI and line JK intersect at point X. The next term I'm going to teach you is called parallel lines. Now parallel lines are lines in a plane that are always the same distance apart. Parallel lines never intersect. We could also say parallel lines never cross. So line DE is parallel to line FG. We would write it like this. Line DE is parallel. Do you see how the symbol looks like two long lines side by side? Line DE is parallel to line FG. This symbol means is parallel to. The third term I'm going to teach you is called perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines are lines in a plane that intersect to form four right angles. Notice here that line LM, which is this line right here, is perpendicular to line NO, this line right here. And notice how when they intersect, they form four right angles, right angle one, right angle two, right angle three, right angle four. So you would write it like this, line LM, here's the symbol, is perpendicular to line NO. The symbol that looks like this means is perpendicular to. So the, though they are intersecting, you know that they're forming right angles, so therefore it's perpendicular lines. The first term I taught you, intersecting lines, means that they intersect and they make four different angles, two are acute and two are obtuse. That's just intersecting lines. But when it's perpendicular, it's all right angles. So here's an activity for you to try. Tell how the streets in this picture appear to be related. We want to write perpendicular, parallel, or intersecting. So look at these three different questions, and you may want to pause the video to answer these. Number one, West 36th Street. So we're going to look at West 36th Street right here, and Broadway Street right here. So notice how these two streets, where they cross, what do you see is happening there? Are they intersecting? Is it perpendicular? Or are they parallel to each other? Write that down for number one for this page. The next one I want you to try is West 35th Street and 7th Avenue. 
So West 35th Street and 7th Avenue. When they cross, what happens? Is it perpendicular, parallel, or intersecting? And the last one, number three, West 37th Street and West 36th Street. Here's West 37th Street and West 36th Street. Are those streets perpendicular, parallel, or intersecting? Write that term down. Go ahead and pause the video to finish those three questions. All right, for this question, you should have said West 36th Street and Broadway, if you look closely, they actually are called intersecting streets, intersecting. Now, they kind of appear to be perpendicular, but they're intersecting because if you look right here, do you notice how Broadway is coming at an angle? It's not going parallel to 7th Avenue. And therefore, if you look, I can see that I have an acute angle here, an acute angle here, and an obtuse there, and an obtuse there. Therefore, that's intersecting. Now, the second one, West 35th Street and 7th Avenue. West 35th, 7th Avenue. So here's 7th Avenue. Here's West 35th. If you notice, when they, when they intersect with one another, I am seeing four right angles. Therefore, you should have said that the second one is perpendicular. All right, and our last term, West 37th Street and West 36th Street. So I'm going to get a different color here for you to see. I'll do red. West 37th Street and West 36th Street. Those streets will never cross because they're the same distance from one another. So you should have said those streets are what we call parallel. Those are parallel streets. All right, I hope you got the three of those right. Okay, for this activity, we're going to draw and label ray yx to be perpendicular with ray yz, and they're going to intersect at point y. So what you'll need is something like a ruler or a straight edge, something like a book or something that has a straight edge so you can make a straight line. Step one, I want us to draw and label ray yx. So you're going to take and make a ray, and you're going to label that y and x right here. And I'm going to make a little dot right there to be x. And now it says up here it needs to be perpendicular to yz. Well, there's y right here where my point is. So I'm going to make z come straight up, point z. Do, just do this along with me. And they intersect at point y, which means that they come together to form a right angle. So step three, let's look to see if we did this right. It says make sure y, ray, yzx and yz intersect at point y. Do you see how that they come together at point y? So step four says make sure that they, the rays are perpendicular. If you see that it makes a right angle, we are correct. So this model shows that ray yx let me get a little pointer to show you. Ray YX is perpendicular to Ray YZ, and they intersect, they come together at the point Y. So here's a challenging question for you. Name two sides in this model that appear to be parallel. And then I want you to name two sides that appear to be perpendicular. Go ahead and pause the video, and I want you to uh, write your answers down. All right. For you, you should have said that the two sides that appear to be parallel, you would say C, D, and B, F appear to be parallel. Or you could have said line C, B and D, F appear to be parallel. Now let's name two sides that appear to be perpendicular. You could have said side C, B is perpendicular to B, F. That's one example. 
Or you might have chosen to say line BF is perpendicular to FD. You could have even said BC is perpendicular to CD. Or you could have said DF is perpendicular to line C. D. So those are some different possibilities that you could have said that would have been correct. So in your notes, here's your next challenge. I want you to draw and label line QR to be parallel to line ST. Now remember, parallel lines never intersect, and parallel line segments are parts of parallel lines. So go ahead, pause the video, and draw and label line QR to be parallel to line ST. And we'll check together. Okay, here's what you should have done. You should have made a line segment and label it QR, line segment QR, and try to do it as carefully as possible, will be parallel to line segment ST. That's what yours should have looked like. If not, please change it. Now I just want you to take a look at this model here. I want you to look closely and name a pair of lines that appear to be perpendicular. Okay, and then I want you to name a pair of lines that appear to be parallel. Go ahead and pause the video and write that down now. All right, for your answer choices, you should have said the pair of pair of lines that appear to be perpendicular. You should have said line F, J, I'm gonna make this little symbol here to show line. Line F, J is perpendicular to line H, G. Those two lines are perpendicular because if you look right here, we have H, G, and F, J, and you see how they are perpendicular right there. Now the next question says name a pair of lines that appear to be parallel. Well, I can see that line D, C, make my symbol there for line D, C, is parallel to line F, J. And that's what you should have on yours. I hope you got that one right too. So here are your three homework questions. The first one says, what is the error in this model? It says, Dan says that line HL is parallel to line IM. Is Dan correct? Look closely. If not, explain why. Number two, name two intersecting line segments that are not perpendicular in this model. Name two intersecting line segments that are not perpendicular in this model. Now there are a few possible answers for that one, so just you can list one, or if you see two, go ahead. And for question number three, it says which best describes perpendicular lines? Is it A, they never meet, B, they form four right angles, C, they form one acute angles, angle, or D, they form one obtuse angle? Which one of those best describes perpendicular lines? And when you're done with your homework questions, please don't forget to assess yourself, level one, two, three, or four. Please note that in the corner of your notes, I will be checking for that when I come around and check for homework in the morning. And here are your questions again. Go ahead and pause the video so you can look at them carefully and write your answers down. And don't forget to bring your notes tomorrow to class and we will go over them in class and see our different answers. And have a great night tonight and we'll practice this tomorrow in class. Have a great night. Bye-bye.